Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 27 and optical dot punch video number 2. In this video we are going to machine up the main body which involves cutting some 2 inch stock, drilling a couple of holes, reaming them to size for the silver steel punch and the optical lens and then finishing the project with a couple of diameters and some chamfers. So to get started we need to head over to the bandsaw and cut some stock ready to turn. So before we machine the full profile of the body, we're just going to mark out a centre line uh, using a V-block and a vernier height gauge. And then once we've found that centre line, we're going to offset by 8mm either side to mark the position of the two holes. And to do this, we're going to use a V-block and a pair of clamps. And the logic is going to be to clamp it in place. And this is two inch bar. So if we put the vernier height gauge on top of the bar, then offset down by one full inch, then we'll be able to find the exact center point. Here we've reset the center point and measured eight mil up to make a mark for the first point we should be able to go 16 mil down and mark the final position. Now let's centre pop the holes, drill, ream and then get back to machining. And for an optical centre punch project it would be a shame not to use an optical centre punch. And this one's a slightly different design, so it's got a dot in the middle rather than the actual uh, crosshair that the, uh, the original one shown in the first video has. And this is probably the design I'll go with because it's going to be a little bit easier to get that dot exactly in the middle. Now we just need to drill and ream the block and first we're going to drill using a spot chamfer drill rather than the centre drill which we discussed in a previous video. The drill speed will be 890 in aluminium. Next we're going to ream to 12mm H7 with some cutting lubricant at half the speed and twice the feed. So now we've done all the drilling, reaming and marking out, we've got our two holes and the lovely reams fit. Listen to that pop. We're going to go head over to the lathe now and turn this diameter part off, put some chamfers on, and then in next week's video, we'll be turning this into the actual punch itself.
So now we just need to put these chamfers 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then we'll have to part before we do the 0.25 back chamfer. Last thing to do is just face this two millimetres off the back here. Put the chamfer on, then we can count sink some holes. We go for a Formula One style uh, pit stop change for the tool and the chamfer. Try and get this done quickly. So there we have it, our completed body. Next time we're going to be machining this piece of silver steel up because we managed to maintain a really nice fit. We're just going to have to turn that 120 degree point on the end and then go through the hardening process. Final video in this series will be the optical punch. That acrylic's going to arrive Monday, so hopefully the little bit of research I've done on lenses will work. So if you like these videos, do subscribe, like and comment, and we'll see you next time.